What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we're going to go over another lead code problem. This one is going to be uh, finding find leaves of a binary tree. So you're given the root of a binary tree and uh, they want you to collect the tree nodes doing this, which is collect all the leaf nodes, remove all of them, and then repeat this until the tree is empty. So if you look at this, if you actually look at the this example here let me just quickly paste this here if you look at this example here what's going on is that we have this tree of one two four five three and they're gonna just remove all the leaves of this tree so they're gonna remove four remove five remove three and then in the end, they get one and two. Then we're just going to repeat this process until our tree is empty. So we're going to remove the leaf. So we're going to move two. And then in the end, we have one. And then we're going to move one. And then the, the tree is empty. And each time we remove a leaf, they want us to just add that into an array. So yeah, given the root, collect all the tree nodes by doing this. Collect all the leaf nodes, remove them, and then repeat until the tree is empty. So yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, five. We remove one, four, five, three, and then we move two, and then we remove one. So then the array in in the end will be have four, five, three, two, and the one. Likewise, if we just have the root one, it's just going to output one, an array of one because we remove just one. That'll just be an array of itself. Okay, so um, how do you do this problem? excuse me, is simply is just to, you have just have to like, ha like, um, you just have to like store in each of the nodes with its corresponding height around the, the leaves with its corresponding height. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through each of the heights and for each of the heights, we're just going to store the current um, leaf for that and then yeah and then in the end we're just going to return our array solution in the end so here I'll just show you guys what the code what I mean so here we have get height which is just like uh, actually let's start for the top so we have vector vector int solution and this is just like a vector vector int it represents a two di two dimensional array so they want us to have a two dimensional array here right because they want us to return a two dimensional array right with each of the leaves that are removed and each uh, succession I don't know why that did that okay so yeah so what we're gonna do essentially is that we're going to use recursion recursively call it and anytime we get to the current height we're just gonna like add a new empty array and in the end we're just gonna just keep pushing each of the current nodes onto the current height and then yeah we just return the solution in the end so here I'll show you guys what I mean let's actually just trace through this code because it's much easier if to understand it if you know what the code is doing if you actually trace through it okay so here at the top part I have vector vector int solution which is just a global variable representing the solution of all the nodes that we're going to collect while we're removing them so yeah, that, and then in the find leaves method, we just call recursively call get height, passing in our root, and then we return the solution that it collects from this method of collecting all the leaf nodes and then removing them and going to the next step. So let's actually trace through each of these, through each of the recursive steps of get height, and then we'll be able to get, um, we'll be able, we'll understand what we're doing. Okay. So first of all, root right now is one, right? Because here root is the first one, first of our tree is one, right? This is the root, right? We're starting, the starting note is root, okay, here's root. So we pass in root into our get height function, okay? So in get height, is the root null? Um, no, it's not, right? Because the first root is one, it's not null. So what do we do? We call get height again, but we're going to pass in the left side. 
So here, if we were to go up to here, we're going to call get height and we're going to pass the left side. So this is get height, get height, and we're going to pass in the left side. So what is the left side? Roots left is two, right? Based on this picture, one, right? The one is the root, the left side is two. So we're going to pass in two. So we're going to pass in two here. Okay. And then um, what we're also going to do is we're going to pass, uh, yeah. And then pass in two. Um, the right side, get height H, right? For the right height, right side, we're going to pass in the right side. So that's going to be three. So we're going to get height three. So here we have two function calls that we just had. So here I'm going to just make sure you guys understand. So we have two function calls after passing in. So here's what happened. So we had get height passing in root. Get height root was one. So we pass in it and now we have two function calls. I'm just going to show you guys this diagram so you guys can understand. So this is what the diagram is. Okay. Get height one and get height, uh, get height three. Okay. So this is the left side, get height passing in two here, left side and get height three is the right side. Okay. Now in, um, now, yeah. Um, so for now, those values are going to return some certain height and then we're going to use that for the next value. But for now, that's what happens. Okay. So now let's just go through get height two. So in get height two, so we pass in this time two into our function. So is two null? It's not, right? Two is not null. So we're not returning negative one. And what does it do? Now what it's going to do, it's going to call get height passing in the left side of left side of two, which is going to be four. And then it's, we're going to call get height passing in the right side, which is going to be five. So here after this function call, this is actually going to call, um, let me just minimize this real quick because this is too big. So let's actually make this smaller. Okay. Well, it's now it's kind of pixelated, but yeah, here it's going to pass in, um, get height two. get height. So this was get height two. It's going to call get height four and then get height five, so get height four. And then it's going to pass and get height five. Okay. All right. And then, um, those are going to return something and then we'll, they'll do something later after that. Um, so now we're going to just look at get height four. So what does get height four do? Get height four, uh, is going to come up to here and get height four is four is not null. So what it's going to do is going to pass in get height four is left is going to be null and four is right is also going to be null. So it's going to do get height null. So here four is going to pass in get height null. And then get height null. Okay. And then um, get height null. What does that do? So get height null is null, right? So it's going to, they're going to both return negative one. So here, both of these are going to return negative one. So this is negative one. Negative one is returned. Negative one is returned here. Okay. So when negative one is returned, it goes to this part of the line of code. So get current height. What is current height? What is the max of negative one and negative one? Uh, it's just negative one. And then negative one plus one is going to be zero. So this, this whole thing gets returned with zero. So the current height here is going to be zero. So this is going to end up giving us zero. Uh, current height is going to equal to zero, right? Current height is going to be zero. Okay. Now is the solution size equal to current height? Yes, it is. Right. So the cer current solution size right now, our solution size is a two dimensional vector, right? They're both empty. It's like completely empty. So is the size, is the solution size equal to zero? Yes, it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to push an empty array. So here our solution, solution size is now going to get pushed an empty array. So it's going to be like that. Okay. Now what it's going to do is that uh, we're going to use our current height of zero. Current height is zero. So at zero solution zero, which is the first empty array, we're going to push the current root. 
So what is the current root here? The current root is 4, right? The current root is 4 because we went to the left side all the way down here. And our current root is 4, right? That's what this part of we were doing. So it's going to push 4 onto this. So this is that's, So it's going to have 4 here now. Okay? And then what it's going to do, what is it going to do? It's going to return current height. And the current height is 0, right? Remember, current height is 0 from the calculation. So it's going to return current height. So this whole thing of get height 4 is going to return current height of 0. So I'm going to actually remove this now. So get height 4. is going to now have um, current height is zero. So let's actually just get rid of this so it's less confusing. So get height four is now going to have uh, get height four gives us zero. Gives us zero, right? Current height zero. All right. So now we had get height four, right? Now um, we have to get height five, right? So what is get height five? So get height five is going to call recursively called get height on the left side, which is null, right? So five's left side here is null, right? Five's left side here is null and five's right side is null. So we're going to pass and get height uh, null for both of them. So here is going to split into get height null. I'll just say get h null and get h null. Null. Right, representing the left side and the right side. So yeah, so now um, since it's null, right, it's going to return negative one. So both of these are going to return negative one. Okay, so get height null and get height null on the left side and right side will return negative one. So then, what happens is, is that this is both of these are going to return negative one. So what is the current height? So here, current height is going to equal to max of negative one, negative one, and max of negative one, negative one is going to be negative one. Right, and negative one plus one will give us zero. So current height is going to equal to zero. So both of these is going to give us current height equal to zero. So this is going to give us, um, let me just make this bigger. This gives us current height is going to equal to zero. Okay? So now, is the solution size equal to current height? It's not, right? Our solution size has a size of one currently right with an array of four so what are we going to do solution at current height of zero is going to push back the roots value so our since we recursively called on this get height of five our root currently is going to be five so what we're it's going to do is it's going to solution at current height of zero is going to push back five so this for this uh array at current height of zero is going to have out of five here. So it's going to append five here. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this and add a five. Okay. Because that's what this function to get height did, right? The value, the roots kernel value would be five because of get height of five. Okay. So after we do that, we're going to return current height. So this whole thing is going to return current height of zero. So this whole thing returns current height of zero. So let's actually get rid of all this. Current height of five is going to return. Get height of five is going to return um, zero. So here, zero. Okay. Get height of five is going to return zero. So now we have the left side of zero and zero. Okay. So here we have left side of get height four it gives us zero. Right side of uh, get height two five gives us zero also uh this is kind of hard to read this is get height two i hope you guys remember get height two and just get height three okay but yeah okay now that we have this we have left side of zero and right side zero so here what is the current height um what's the max of zero and zero it's zero so we plus one this is the current height is going to equal to one now so with both of these current height is equal to one current height equals to one. Okay. Now is the solution size equal to current height? Um, so our current solution size is just this one, uh, array, right? It's just this one, um, one thing, right? So yes, it is. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to push back an empty array, right? Cause our current height, uh, our current 
solution size is just like one dimensional array and our current height is one. So we're going to push back an empty array. So this is going to have another empty array now. So now we have two, uh, two arrays inside our solution. One with four or five and another one is empty array. Okay. Now what's going to do is we're going to do solution at current height, which is one. So solution at current height, which is like the newest array that we add, which we have, and then we're going to push back the roots value. So what is our current roots value? Our current root value is two, right? Because this function call it two called four and five. So this, our current height here, uh, current root is two. So what it's going to do is it's going to get the current height of this of one. We're going to push add two. So this is going to be two in here. Okay. So I hope, I hope you guys understand what we're doing. Okay. It's going to have two in here. Okay. Push back two, and then we're going to return current height. So then current height, this whole thing of get height two returns current height of one. So this whole thing of get height two is going to return uh, current height of one. So I'm actually going to remove this and this. So let's just redraw this. I know it's kind of pixelated, but this is get height two returns a uh, current height of one. So current height of one. So the number one, that's what it returns. Okay. So that was, that's the left side of the left H. Now we have to look at the right side. So this is get height of three. So yeah, I know this is kind of hard to read. So I'm actually going to delete this again and just rewrite get height of three because that's kind of hard to read. Okay. So this is get height of three. Okay. So get height of three. What does this do? Okay. So get height of three. Um, it's going to recursively call get height on the left side and the right side. So three is left here. There's is null, right? Because the left side, there's nothing there. And the right side is also nothing there. So it's going to call get height on null. So this is going to return get height, call get height on null. Get height on null. Okay. And get height of null. What is that going to do? Okay. So if we pass in null and the left and the right side, um, since the roots here values are now null, it's going to return negative one. So here, both of these are going to return negative one, negative one, negative one. And the current height that we're going to get is the max of negative one, negative one plus one. So negative one, the max of negative one and negative one is going to be negative one. And we add one current height is going to be zero. So this is going to return, this is going to have current height is going to be zero. Okay. So is the solution size equal to current height of zero? Um, no, it's not right. The solution size has a 2d array or a two dimensional array with the size of two, right? So it's not equal to zero. So we're not going to add a new array, but what uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to get solution at current height. So the current height is zero, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to push back the roots value. Okay. So solution at current height of zero is going to push back roots value. So what is the current height? Current height is zero. So the first array, the first array that we look at in our solution array, we're going to push back the roots value. So our current root is three because of the recursive calls on left side and the right side of get height of three. So what it's going to do, it's going to get, look at the current height of the first array here at current height of zero. And we're going to add three to the first array. So here, the first array here of four or five, we're going to add another value here and we're going to push it and it's going to be three. So here, now we add three here. Okay. So I hope, I hope you guys understand what we're, what we're doing. Essentially what we're doing is we're going to go through each of the heights and we're just going to push, um, corresponding values to it at each of the certain heights that we are at. Okay. If that makes any sense. So like every time we go through like a surrounding leaf node, we're going to push those values into one array. And then the next leaf nodes, we're going to push those values onto the next array and so on and so forth. Okay. That's essentially what we're doing. All right. So after this of pushing three onto the current height here, um, we're going to return current height. So 
what is current height? It's zero, so it's going to return zero. So get height of three is going to return uh, zero. So here, this re get height of three. Let's actually remove all both of this stuff, all these values. Current height, it's going to return current height of zero. So here, let's remove this also because it, now it returns current height of zero. So current height is going to equal to zero. Okay. So now we have current height of one and current height of zero from the get height of two and three. So get height of two and three now have those. So what is a current height now? So what is a max of height, uh, max of height one and zero, right? Left side of one and the right side of zero. Well, that's one, right? Max of one and zero is one. So then now we do current, uh, yeah, current height is going to equal to 1 plus 1. So that's going to return, uh, both of these are going to return 1 plus 1. It is going to give us 2. So this is current height is 2. Okay. And, yeah. So now, is the solution size equal to current height of 2? Uh, yes, it is, because we, there's two arrays in our solution. So what it's going to do now is it's going to push back an empty array onto it. So now we're going to push back an empty array of this, which is just an empty array here. And yeah, now it's pushed back an empty array here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do solution at current height of two. So that's going to be the new array that we just added since our current height is equal to two. So that'll be zero, one, two, right? The new array that we added. And we're going to push back whatever our root is. So since our root was uh, is now one because it's the the recursive call of starting of one after all these return statements, it's we're gonna push one onto this new array here. Bam. Okay, so now that's there. And then after that, we're gonna return current height, which is gonna be two. Okay, so then this current height is gonna get returned. And then this whole thing gets returned, get height of one would get returned of height two. So we're gonna go here, remove all this, and it's gonna return current height of two, current height of two. Okay, that's what get height of one do, does. So now after this whole thing gets returned, uh, we don't actually need that the height value, so we're just gonna ignore it. And since we already added all the values into our solution array here, we're just going to return solution. So this gives us our answer in the end, okay? So I hope you guys understand what's going on. Essentially what we're doing is that we're going to, every time you go to through a new leaf, we're going to add those values based on the corresponding height into its uh, corresponding, yeah, based on this corresponding height, add it into the, into our solution array. Okay. So whichever height that has starting from whichever node it is, right, we're going to have that be added into its corresponding array. So essentially what it's doing is like we look at the, the leaves. Here, four, five, three. Since both of the, all these values have a height of zero, because if we look at this, the root here, and there's no, there are nothing there, right? There's like the leaves there, are have like there's no, there's no children of each of these four, three, five, and three. So what it's doing is that once it gets the heights of each of these uh, values of the leaf nodes, it's going to add it to its corresponding array inside our solution 2D solution array. So at that certain index of that certain height of two of no children height, right? We're gonna just add that into that array. So that's why those leaves gets added of four, five, and three gets added into the first of size zero. And then since if we look at two's height here, two's height there's is a, has a height of one because there's no, um, because there's children of two. so. So in the, our solution array, if we put two as the, we put the number two into the solution of height into the solution array of at height one, okay, and then for one we put one's solution uh, the node one into the solution array at height two, okay, because of that's because from the starting positions. So yeah, in our in the end, our solution is gonna have the exact corresponding values at the right location based on each of the nodes height. 
Okay, we're basically storing each of the nodes in its corresponding height in our solution array. That's what we're doing, if, if that makes any sense. So yeah, um, yeah. So that's just tracing through all the this whole code. I hope you guys understand what I'm doing here. I know it's kind of confusing, but it is. It's what, what we're doing is we're just going through each of the leaves and putting them into the corresponding new array, and then based on the, their heights, and then we go to the next one and put it into the corresponding array. But yeah, hope you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.